You made it to topic three. This is three dash one practice and problem solving math Excel for Envision sixth grade math. My name is Jason Jacobs. I'm going to help you understand this concept of exponents. We're going to learn about exponents today. This is going to help us because in this topic, we're going to be learning about expressions, numerical expressions, algebraic expressions, order of operations, greatest common factor, and least common multiple. And when we follow the order of operations and algebraic expressions or numerical expressions, you're going to see exponents. PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The E stands for exponents. we got to make sure we know those first. So let's learn them, guys. Look at this. Look at all those threes. My goodness. Three times three times three. I can't. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the base here is three. That's called the base. You'll have to know these because there's a question like this on the quiz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the nine is this little nine, and that's called the exponent. Now, again, make sure you know this question because it says the exponent for the expression is. They only want the exponent. And what's the exponent? Nine. That's the only thing they want there. Now, a lot of students have been missing this on the quiz because there's one very similar to this on the quiz. So, hopefully... That makes sense. They only wanted the exponent. Sometimes they'll ask you for the base, and you saw the base was 3, right? Okay. Moving right along. The exponent for the expression is, what's the exponent? The base is 2.6, but the exponent's 8. Okay. So I'm going to put 8 in. Now, you are allowed to use a calculator, especially if they say evaluate that. I mean, you'd have to do 2.6 times 2.6 times 2.6 times 2. Eight times. My goodness. That's a lot. That's why we let you use a calculator. All right. Now, real, I picked this one for a certain reason because look at this. The fraction. One-ninth. One-ninth. Three, four, five, six. This is one-ninth to the sixth power. But I want you to see something. If I put a 6 here, is that 1 to the 6th power over 9? No. So what you're going to see is parentheses around this. Those parentheses indicate that it's 1 ninth to the 6th power, and it's written with repeated multiplication like that. If you don't put those parentheses, they'll think it's just, they'll think it's this. Um where the six is right here, and the six goes just with the numerator. That's why you gotta use those parentheses, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, they, would, they only wanna know the exponent for this, okay guys? So we're gonna write the exponent, which is six. The exponent is six. Again, these questions are on the quiz. I've seen a lot of students miss it. I've seen a lot of students type in the 1 ninth to the 6th power. Technically, they're right, but they didn't answer the question. And even I've made that mistake before. So make sure you're reading what specifically they're asking of you. All right, now we're going to evaluate. We have 0.8 times 0.8. This is not 0.8 times 2. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's 0.8 times 0.8. 8 tenths times 8 tenths. Here's a little tip. Ignore the decimal. 8 times 8 is 64, right? Now there's one place behind the decimal here, one place behind the decimal here, which means there are two places behind the decimal here. So the answer is 0.64. 64 hundredths. Two places behind the decimal is hundredths. This is one seventh times one seventh, not one seventh times two. I'll write it out for you guys. One times one is one, seven times seven is 49. One backslash 49 is a shortcut to write it.
um, they're saying the answer in this equation, an equation has an equal sign is equal to n, n equals, they're getting us ready for algebraic expressions and equations here. 0.5 times 0.5, now guys, 5 times 5 is 25. 0.5 and 0.5 each have one decimal each, 1 plus 1 is 2, so it would be 0.25. 25 hundredths. All right, you know how like uh, we do the commutative property, two times three is the same as three times two. That's not true with exponents. Not true, not true. Not at all true with exponents. So look at this. This is seven times seven is 49. Let me read this. The same digits are used for the expressions, meaning the seven and the two. Um, for 7 squared and 2 to the 7th power. Explain how to compare the value of each expression. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2, 7 times, right, um, is 5. Uh, let me just do it out here. Guys, look at this pattern here. This is helpful. Like if you're explaining this to your 6th grader, or if you are a sixth grader doing this, this is two times two times two, which is eight. Two to the fourth power, these, these are all like doubles, okay? Two to the fourth power, 16. Two to the fifth power would be 32. You see how they double? Two to the sixth power, 64. And two to the seventh power, which is the one we want, is 128. Um, 256 would be 2 to the 8th power. So this is 128. So write each power as repeated multiplication, then evaluate and compare their values. That makes sense. Then compare the number of factors. I don't think so. Write each power as repeated, then compare the bases and exponents. I think it's the first one. Yeah, because we got to compare their actual values. That one's 49. This one was 128, I hope. And now we have to use an inequality. It's not an equation. They're not equal. That's for sure. Um, the uh, 2 to the 7th power was greater. So 7 squared is less than 2 to the 7th power. All right. Uh oh sure what i do wrong guys oh there oh hey hope this helped you learn about exponents my name is jason jacobs please like and subscribe comment if you want to let me know if this is helping you. i don't know if anyone even watches these but you know if i can help one person that makes it worth it bye guys